Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's time once again to meet our community, the Hispanic business community here in Orange County, powered by the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and Orange County's only community radio station, OC Talk Radio. Streaming live from our studios here at the University of California, Irvine's Beal Applied Innovation with the man who's always streaming somewhere, somehow. The man connected to everybody here, John Gutierrez. Thank you, thank you. And welcome everybody again to our our community podcast show powered by the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, John Gutierrez, Senior Vice President here at the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And of course, our community is your community. We have a special guest today, an Australia Awards winner from our chamber, a community leader. Uh, let me just give you the rundown here. She's the <laughs> founder and CEO of Neighborhood Insurance Agency. She won the Ambassador of the Year for our Orange County Hispanic Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Estrella Awards in 2018. She's a board member for the Delhi Community Center, a community youth and health su- supporter, and a proud wife to her trophy husband, Martin, who's here with us, of 30 plus years and mom of two great young men. Welcome, Rosy Felix. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I this know it was a long honor. one, but that's what happens when you're a leader in the community. <laughs> you know, you just you have all these great uh, titles. How are you doing, Rosie? I'm doing really well, John. Thank you so much for having me here. It's, thank, it's, thank you for it's being an honor. here. Well, you've been a, a great supporter of our Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for many years. When did you become a member of the chamber? Do you remember? Wow, we became members so long ago that this was even before the chamber was actually giving certificates. It was actual plaques. Okay. We have one of those original plaques. Wow! Yeah, awesome. and and they're you know yeah we have it very well displayed there in our in our office. But we came back kind of like with a plan, mm-hmm. and that's when we got really really involved. Right, probably a couple of years before we became ambassadors of the year. Because again, we became very involved with the chamber. Yes, yes, I know that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, earlier here, you're a, a big supporter of the community. Tell us a little bit about you yourself. Where did you get that from growing up? Tell us, share with everybody here listening. Who is Rosie Felix? Well, I'm the youngest child of five children. My parents have always been and will always be you know my uh my biggest inspiration and the reason you know they have always motivated now they're both gone but they continue to be that for me my when my parents just like so many of us uh they came to this country with a dream of a better life and one of the things my father always instilled in us was that this country has rules and a reason rules and laws of how to go ahead and do things so even when he started his business he always had you know, the right licenses, the right permits and stuff. My mom was our biggest cheerleader. She would always tell us, you know, if you're going to go after your goals, do them with ganas and no one can stop you. And so I'm a product of the Santa Ana school system. I went to uh, Madison Elementary, Lathrop Junior High, Santa Ana High School. I'm a a Lathrop Junior High kid myself. Go Spartans, right? Yeah. And Santa Ana College. And Santa Ana College. Wow. So you really were in the Santana community. Exactly. Exactly. And as you know, you know, I am, uh, Martin and I have been married for, you know, 34 years. 34 years. 34 years. That is awesome. Where did you go, Martin? (laughs) And uh, we have two wonderful sons. Um, you know, so that, those are just some of the hats that I go ahead and wear. And like you said, ambassador for the Orange County Hispanic Chamber. And um, I'm on the board of our very beloved Delhi Center here yes. in Santa Ana, too. Yes, we're going to go into that in mm-hmm. a minute here. Before that, share with us, how did you end up in the insurance industry? How did you end up in this uh, you know, business uh, that you love so much, and and I know it's very important to you, and yeah. I know you give back a lot to the community. You've given a lot of sponsorship to not only the chamber but other foundations, my foundation. Mm-hmm. So share with us, how did you end up in this industry? Well, it was truly by marriage, to be honest with okay. you. Um, Martin was working for an insurance uh, agency while going to college. After we were married, I worked for an Allstate agent. He kind of took us under his wing and introduced us to the independent side of 
of the insurance industry. Mm. When we looked around and saw that there were at that time there weren't a lot of agents that spoke Spanish. So that really inspired us and we're like, okay, something we need to do something. Okay. And so knowing what we knew already, we said, well, let's and I've said this story before with a credit card in ganas, we started our business. And that agent went ahead and made some connections for us, but the rest of it was on us. And it wasn't as, you know, one, two, three, okay, poof, it's easy. No, it was hard work, you know, to to build the business, make those connections, really kind of like, you know, you get those little bumps, uh, you hit those bumps along the road uh, of learning experiences and how to go ahead. And we don't say it was a loss, but there's, you know, there's wins and lessons and everything, right? So, you know, sometimes it was good and sometimes it was, hey, it's a lesson. You, you know, you dust yourself off, get up and keep moving. Through that, we really started to see how could we give back to the community and surround ourselves with people that knew more, not necessarily younger, older, it was just people that knew more and inspired us. And how was it, it was just to be able to go ahead and through education of insurance, but also to go ahead and support, like you said, different mm -hmm. foundations to give back. Mm -hmm. And that is still a very big part of our, of our agency. Do you feel that that giving back to the community is something that was instilled in you at a young age from your parents? Our parents, yes, both sides. Our mm -hmm. parents were very involved with the community, whether it was with the church, whether it was with our neighbors, you know, helping each other out. That's great. Um, that was just instilled in us to go ahead and do. So why not bring it and make it a part of our business? You yes. know, and it's not just us, it's our team. Our team being able to go ahead and have you know, that same, that same heart, that same passion for protection, you know, but they enjoy being part of the community and giving back that heart of giving. Yes. Yes. And one of the things that I have to say as an ambassador for our chamber, it's all volunteer work. And I know that you winning this award, the ambassador of the year in 2018, um, it really shows how much you were giving back and volunteering. What was that like? To, to get that call or to be told, hey, you're going to be uh, the winner of this award at Estrella Awards. What was that like? Because I know you do so much in the community. We were just completely floored and humbled. You know, you do, my mom would always say, you know, do what's right and don't look back. You just cannot look back and see. You just know you did what was right in your heart and you just keep moving forward and, and in that same spirit of that you're giving and you're doing the right thing. You just have to keep moving and, and making an impact. And you, you hope that you did. Mm -hmm. and you, but you just have to go ahead and keep moving forward and stuff. You can't go back and say, well, what did you do with what I gave you? No. It has to be you know you did the right thing and keep moving. Keep living by example. Mm -hmm. And so when the call came in, we were like, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Wow, this is such an honor. And so we did. It was, it was just... we brought our, our sons with us, you know, and they were able to go ahead and be there, and, you know, and and cheer us on. And it was just a very exciting evening. I remember that. I remember that. It was your whole family was there. Um, mm -hmm. And as for those listening, the Estrella Awards is every year every around year. May, mm -hmm. at the beginning of May at the Disneyland Hotel. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets dressed up. And it's just a really fun event, right? It is a wonderful event. I told everybody that it's kind of like the adult prom. <laughs> You know, you get all dressed That's up. That's right. I didn't even, I never you know, thought about that, but you're right. Prom, you know, I got my Cinderella dress and everything. Yes. And so it was, you know, my husband in a tux. And it's great networking. Yeah. That's It what, is. I mean, you have five, 600 people from all over businesses. I think it's a great networking opportunity, too. It really, really is. It really now, is. Now, I know you mentioned everything you've done as an ambassador, but I also want to point out, you're always there supporting our toy drive, too. I mean, that is something. Why, why is that important to you? I know the toy drive is something we do annually with the, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, but I know you guys have been so involved in our toy drive since years ago. Well, it goes back. Okay, you're going to have one of those Barbara Walter moments where you're going to make me cry. But um, it goes back to getting to know my father's story. Okay. My father was an orphan. Wow. And so for him, children were sacred. Yes. You you take care of them. They sh should have a childhood. They should play. They should enjoy life. And it was something that he didn't get to do. He had to go ahead and grow up really fast and take help take care of his, his siblings. Wow. It was four brothers, and they had to go ahead and take care of each other. 
you know, and That's this tough. was in Mexico City. Yes. So, um, you know, even in Mexico City, he got them together and they eventually were able to go ahead and start a business over there. So, but it was him. He was always pulling them together. Come on, we need to do this. So even growing up, children just were attracted to to him. It was like a pipe piper, you know. And yeah. But for him, all the grandchildren, they were mm-hmm. just wonderful. And so... Mm-hmm. So you helping children is important because of your dad. Because of my dad. What he went through as, as a he, child, mm-hmm. as an orphan. Did, yeah. Wow. And it was really both of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom, the same thing. She was the eldest of five. And mm-hmm. again, she had to start working early on. And so her childhood was kind of like taken taken from her. And so not until she, you know, was already a grandmother did we really start, you know, that she would get spoiled and yes. and we, we took her with us to go play miniature golf. She didn't know what all that was about. But again, it was both of them. Their their childhood really inspired us that, you know what, all children should go ahead and have something to open on Christmas. And so, yeah. I totally re- relate with the story because people always ask me, why is the toy drive so important to you, John? And I say, my dad was a landscape worker. He couldn't afford a lot of toys when we were kids. You know, mm-hmm. we we're that low income family. And I'll never forget with one of his, uh, I think it was his boss or somebody gave him this box of toys that he brought home. He said, hey, my boss gave me these toys. Here you go. And it was the whole He-Man collection wow. with like Grayskull and all this, you know. And I remember as a kid, I didn't care they were used. Yeah. It was to me, I was like, whoa, I was yes. so happy, right? And those toys were with me for many, many years. Yeah. And eventually even I think my nephews played with them, right? Mm-hmm. And so that stayed with me. Mm-hmm. And so for me, it was like, a toy can play a big role in a child's life, right? It really can. And so I, I totally re- relate with what your dad went through as mm-hmm. a kid. Obviously, uh, being an orphan, it's, that's really tough. That was tough. Man. But it made you stronger knowing his story, right? Very much. Wow. Very, very much. And maybe that's why you're so involved now with the Delhi Center mm-hmm. and what they're doing over here with this beautiful gala, the Socalo. Mm-hmm. Share with us about that event coming up, please. Well, the Socalo is very near and dear to our hearts. And I say mm-hmm. ours because, you know, everybody there, the uh, the board, the every, all, everybody that works and volunteers there at the Delhi Center, mm-hmm. um, Socalo is is our grand gala. Mm-hmm. It's going to be held on November 17th. Okay, listen up, folks. Yeah. November 17th. November 17th. That mm-hmm. is a Thursday. And anyone can buy tickets. Anyone can buy tickets. Anyone can attend, be a sponsor, support. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, you could go to uh, DelhiSocolo.org, mm-hmm. and you could go ahead and see uh, our information is already up and running. Okay. Uh, this year, we are the funds are all going to be going to support uh, La Tiendita, mm-hmm. which is, you know, your, your food pantry, mm-hmm. and the teen program okay which of course they're doing phenomenal work with the teens there's so much uh and mentorship a lot of mentorship Mentorship, okay getting to go on say field trips that you know or hiking things Mm -hmm. that you know a lot of the kids maybe not be able to go ahead and do just exposing them to you know even how to go ahead and converse with with adults being able to go ahead learn how to you know work different jobs Mm -hmm. and they have also um financial literacy Mm -hmm. and i think it's important to go ahead and have that even as a young kid start learning the you know your finances yes so and then again the tiendita which is which is helping the community which right now as you know it's such a big need right now food pantries are such a big need so so yes especially with everything being so expensive right Mm -hmm. Uh, food costs has gone up right and Mm -hmm. and everything we're going through during these times the delhi center I know that it's been there for many years. Over and it's 50 this, years. Right? The center and this community off of Warner, mm-hmm. right there. and Warner um, Center, yes. Yeah, Warner and Center. For people that don't know, they offer so many programs, right? They have so many programs. I walk in ever so often to go ahead, you know, whether it's a meeting or some event going on, and they have knitting, they have mm-hmm. dance classes, they have martial arts classes. Yes. I mean, that's just, you know, a tip of the iceberg. Great, great community resource center. Great community. And, and they also rent out their, their big hall, which... For uh, events? For events. Okay, folks, so, there you go, for events. It's, for, and it's huge. It's a huge... A couple hundred people fit in there, right? Oh, I mean, it's pretty big. It is a huge, you know, yes. center and stuff. I know Patty works over there, a good friend right. of ours, and, yeah. and she's a good friend of our chairman of our board, our former chairman of our board, John Amador. Mm-hmm. And a couple of times, John and I went over there uh, during during the pandemic. They mm-hmm. were doing some, you know, giving away a lot of cool stuff, and we mm-hmm. donated through the chamber mm-hmm. whatever we could exactly. and supported. Um, but 
what they're doing in the heart and soul of Santa Ana there at the Del High Center is just beautiful. It I, really is. Mm-hmm. And you're right. Patty's amazing. I mean, mm-hmm. she she just pours her heart and soul into it, you know, and uh, along with, you know, Freddie over there. And mm-hmm. then you have Juanita that's there, too. And the whole staff and volunteers. Yeah. You know, so much. I think a lot of those people don't get enough credit, right? Like they really don't. what they do daily to get up and go to work. And I get it's a job or whatever, but a lot of people are, you have to pull volunteers from everywhere. Oh, yeah. And I've seen it when they have their events and uh, there's cars pulling in, picking up stuff. It's a lot of work. So kudos to them. Shout yeah. out to the Del High Center for yes. all they do. Also, share with me a little bit about the trophy husband over here and, <laughs> and and your two sons as a mother i mean you are just non-stop going in the community they just kind of watch me you know? <laughs> they just you know they just go okay there goes mom again um but they go ahead and help out a lot you know martin is is you know how could i say you know it's 34 years we've yes. gotten to you know find our rhythm with each other we people are shocked that we actually work together in the same office and you what know what is the secret share the secret because people want to know out there what's the <laughs> secret to a long loving marriage you really need to pick your battles yes and know that you know always remember the reason why you chose each other and that's you know that always goes forget about what happened yesterday you know sometimes that's it that's done you can't but that goes back to what your mom said the same right what was that saying again your mom said yeah, do what's right and don't look back you know do what's right mm-hmm. and don't look back yeah who's listening to that folks write that down do what's yeah. right and don't look what great advice yeah. from your yeah. mother because you can apply it to business yeah you can apply it to uh, you know marriage love yeah it's so true in a marriage you can have rough days mm-hmm but yeah. it's like, let's just put it behind us. Yes, put it behind Especially us. Especially when we have to wake up and go to work together all day. And people are definitely, they come in and sometimes they're surprised at that. But they see that, you know, how we work together and how we're able to go ahead and collaborate. We're talking to clients, talking to, you know, different companies, you know, and it's a partnership. It is a partnership 24-7. It doesn't end. It's not 50 him, 50 me. It's a 100% him, 100% me. And so it has to be that way. So look at Martin uh, shaking his head over there. That's and right. So, and we have uh, great examples. My in-laws again, uh, also married for fifty plus years. My parents were married for sixty-five plus years. Wow. And stuff. So we. You guys should like start an online dating, <laughs> like one of these apps or something, right? Because you're a proven, you know, fact of how <laughs> it's done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. don't know about that, you know, and I'm it's sure not it's, perfect, it's right? not but, perfect, right? But but it's you know that's great now neighborhood insurance let's share anything out there we got about five minutes left where can they find you what are some of the things going on right now in the insurance industry people need to know so they can come see you Mm -hmm. and why it's important to come see you well one of the important things i think to know about us is that we are an independent insurance agency and what that means is that we don't represent say one company we represent the client we go ahead and have uh over 30 companies for commercial insurance, we have over 30 companies for life insurance, and again for personal life. I mean, personal, you know, say auto and your home. Again, mm-hmm. it's another mm-hmm. 50 plus companies. Okay. So, n- being able to go ahead and sit with a client and know, you know, what coverages they actually go ahead and need, that's very important for us and stuff. We're based here at a Santa Ana, 600 South Grand Avenue, um, Suite 101. And what we have going is that we have a referral, an amazing referral program. So for every client that's referred over to us, we make a donation to a, a local that's right. nonprofit. That's right. You have to our foundation. Exactly. Thank you so much. And so what that means is that do we get a client? Hopefully we will. And we'll have been able to go ahead and offer them, you know, great coverage for them. But the client also gets to know that referred them that they went ahead and made it we made a donation in their name and that nonprofit also gets a donation. I think it's a win win, you know, all around, you know, we get to help each other out. Well, I wanna thank you, uh, Rosie Martin Felix, neighborhood insurance. <laughs> Thank you for all you do uh, in the community for our Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Again, winners of our Estrella Awards, Ambassadors of the Year on uh, 2018. Again, folks, Socalo at the Del High Center, November 17th. Of course, she's a board member there and the chair of the event. Let's support her. Yes, Reach please. out to her. What's your Instagram? 
Instagram, uh, you can find me at Nia Coverage. Okay. So that and then Facebook, they can find you under Neighborhood mm-hmm. Insurance, Neighborhood or of course insurance. Rosie Felix, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Reach out to Rosie here, guys. Be a part of her event. Support the community. Of course, just a quick announcement: our Chamber Golf Tournament fundraiser is coming up August 30th in Irvine at the beautiful Strawberry Farms there. And of course, follow us on social media at Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce on Facebook and on Instagram. All you have to type up is OCHCC or go to our website at OCHCC.com. Thank you, Rosie, for being here. Martin, thank you for being here over there on the side, like always, nice and quiet. <laughs> Congratulations on thank so many you. years of being married. Thank you so much. And thank you for allowing us to be here. You know, this was a great honor. Our pleasure. Take it away, Paul. Thank you very much, folks. Our community podcast show. And uh, where our community is your community. Well, there you have it. Another great reason to tune in each and every time to meet our community, the Hispanic business community here in Orange County, powered by the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and Orange County's only community radio station, octalkradio.net. Streaming live from our studios here at the University of California, Irvine's Beal Applied Innovation Center. <laughs>